A lot of the imagery that you see out there uh, in the media that you will see when you're looking through even Pinterest, uh, photographs, videos, even that you'll see on YouTube, all of them are generally female centric. So it's not surprising that a lot of guys out there wonder where do we fit in in regards to the whole witchcraft thing. And that's what this video is going to be about today. Hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com and if you want to become a witch or a Wiccan, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. This video comes as a request from one of uh, my really wonderful supporters here on YouTube and the Mystery Witch School. And the question was, can I do a video about men in witchcraft? So the fact is I'm not a man, obviously, so I can't really talk from experience of being a man in witchcraft. All I can say is that I do get a lot of um, inquiries by men who are struggling to find groups to join because a lot of uh, Wiccan groups are often female only and asking me where they go, where they can go. And also I've had a few people ask me if Mystery Witch School is open to men. So there does seem to be a general sense out there anyway that Wicca is somehow more exclusively for women than it is for men. When I first started out in Wicca, uh, we had men in the coven. Uh, yes, there were more women than men, so it was probably 60-40. Uh, so 60% women, 40% men. So it does tend to be predominantly female. But there's a lot of guys. There was a lot of guys back then, and there's, there's guys in it now. And Gerald Gardner, of course, who sort of started the whole um, movement of Wicca itself, was male, and he called himself a witch. So as a male in Wicca, in witchcraft, you call, you call yourself a witch, the same as a female calls herself a witch. Uh, witch does not mean female or male uh, with that word W-I-T-C-H. The original word, the old English word, uh, witcher, which is where witch kind of comes from, does have masculine and feminine. So you've got Wicca which we pronounce it as today, with the A on the end is the masculine and the E on the end is the feminine. And research shows that this word probably was associated with a sorcerer or sorceress. That's about as, as, as clear as we can get as to where this word actually originated from. But in this day and age, I know a lot of guys are calling themselves different things. So they might be calling themselves warlocks or wizards. Um, that kind of thing, but as far as Wicca is concerned, which was what Gerald Gardner called himself, uh, Alex Sanders called himself, and all of the other male witches that have um, been involved in the craft uh, since then call themselves witches. So if you're confused about what to call yourself, you're a witch, the same as I'm a witch. So there you go there. Uh, when it comes to joining covens, as I said, my coven was male and female, so it wasn't, you know, an issue whether you're male or female. But I know that um, over the years, there's been a lot of feminist covens and a lot of women only groups and women only covens. So it can make it difficult for men to join groups. So I certainly understand that. But as far as the practice of witchcraft is concerned, there really isn't any difference uh, in regards to your gender you would practice it the same way that um, anyone practices witchcraft. Uh, the magic's the same, the ritual's the same. In a coven structure, often there's um, the high priest and high priestess role, and that will generally be that the high priestess will represent the goddess aspect and the high priest will represent the god, and other coveners, when you're in ritual, will represent the masculine and feminine aspects of the principle of gender. But that's really only in sort of coven environments that you sort of get that dynamic of the masculine and feminine energies mixing together anyway. So as far as being a witch is concerned, if you're male, it's the same stuff. You meditate, you do energy work, you do magic, you 
commune with the, the deities, you work with the deities, you work with um, the spirits in the same way that a female witch would work with spirits, and you call yourself a witch, and you just get on with life the same as everybody else. It just can be a little bit more difficult for you to find groups out there because there are a lot of female only groups. And I'm in Facebook groups where sometimes, which are definitely always um, dominated um, by, by women. And when guys come into the group, sometimes they, they mention the fact that, hey, look, I'm a male witch, as if it's something new uh, to the group or something unusual. I don't find it unusual. I've never found it unusual. But when you're looking at media representations of witches and uh, especially if you go on to uh, photo places where you're trying to download um, some photos of witches or anything related to Wicca and witchcraft or magic, often you will get mostly uh, pictures and things like that of women. So it's easy to understand why a lot of people get confused um, as to whether a male uh, practitioner is called a witch or called something else um, and whether men can actually be witches and Wiccans. So the answer to that question is of course yes. So if you have any questions or any specific questions around uh, Wicca and gender in general, so that's to do with, you know, male, female, transgender, or anything to do with that. Do pop them in the comments field and um, let me know what you want to know. And if there's, if it's a big enough topic, I'll certainly do a video about it. Of course, if you do want to study Wicca and you are a beginner, regardless of what gender you identify with, and you want to have a mentor to help you learn Wicca and witchcraft, you've had enough of trying to sort it all out for yourself, do take a look at the Mystery Witch School 101 course, 12 month course. You get longer than 12 months, of course, to complete it, but it gives you an opportunity to actually learn the craft with me as your guide and also to learn it in a systematic way so that you're not trying to just piecemeal it all together and getting confused. The details to that will be below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to uh, subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.